welcome back to Four Quarter Crafts. I'm Melissa and in today's video I'm sharing with you some DIY wall art that I made to look like a vintage gear clock. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm beginning with three of these pool noodle boosters from Dollar Tree and you can see these are the same type of foam as the pool noodles. I am going to first cut one in half and then I will cut each of those halves in half. So I will have four pieces total for each of my noodle boosters. So there's the four. I'm going to do the same thing with the other two as well. So now I have 12 of these total. Next I'm going to take some of this white party streamer and then I will be using some Mod Podge as well. And these are going to be the gears of my clock that I'm making here. So starting with my streamer I'm going to cut about a three foot section and I'm going to be placing this streamer in the creases of what will be my gears. So I'm just going to start in the middle and then hold it in place and begin to wrap it around. And every time I get to the creases of the gears there, I'm just going to push really, really tightly to make sure it um, gets really secure in between each part there. And I'm going to continue to wrap it. You can see here um, it kind of overlaps a little bit. And then I'm going to start with my next piece of streamer. And I'm just working in pieces of streamers just because um, it's easier for wrapping. So you're going to do that all the way around until you get to the end and then you can kind of just squeeze it all into place. And then with the rest of my streamer there, I'm going to do the second one and then I still have a lot of streamer left for the remaining 10 pieces of my gears. So I will be doing that to each piece of those as well. So next I'm going to take some Mod Podge and a paintbrush and starting from the middle I'm just going to gently kind of work my way out to the edges of the gears. And the look I'm going for here is kind of like that concrete paper mache uh, hard type of texture. So I'm going to continue to do that making sure to get all along the inside as well. And then I'm going to take my brush and go along those edges and just push in the parts of the creases and then here's what it looks like once all 12 of them are dry. Now I'm going to take some spackle and I'm going to start on those blue edges of my gears. So I'm just using my finger and I'm going to start to blend in where the streamer ends and just kind of work my way around. And once I have those uh, kind of a little bit more level with the streamer paper mache, I'm going to go ahead and blend that all in towards the center. And that's just going to give me that smooth, even texture all the way around. And I'm going to make sure to do on the inside also. So here's what all 12 of them look like once those are dry. And then now I'm going to take some of this white chalk paint. This is the new Walmart chalk paint and I was actually really impressed with it. Um, it worked really nicely. And I'm just going to paint over all of that spackling that I just did and making sure to get all along the sides as well to cover that blue. And I did two coats on each gear. And here is what it looks like. You can still see that texture coming through. Now I'm going to take some of this brown melted chocolate paint also from Walmart and this uh, round sponge brush from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to really gently go ahead on the edges there and start dabbing. And then once the edges were done for the front of the gears, I'm using uh, just half part of the circle there to go and add more of that detail along the front part of the gear. So you can see I'm just really lightly, lightly tapping it and it gives it actually a really nice um, kind of darker brown <laughs> border along the edge. Now to add some silver, I'm going to use the same dabber and some silver paint from Walmart and just really, really gently add in those little touches of silver. And here's what all 12 of those look like. So now we're going to work on our Roman numerals and time markers. So I'm using these wooden dowels. I have a 10 pack plus four extra. So I'm going to cut each of those in half and then cut each of those halves in half. I'm going to do that with all of my dowels. And then I'm going to use this black uh, furniture scratch marker also from Dollar Tree. I'm going to color in all of my pieces. And then once those are complete, I'm going to start attaching my Roman numerals to the gears using some of these silver push pins. So I'm going to start with one at the top, one at the bottom, and you'll be able to see it kind of leaves the pointy part kind of popping through there. 
So I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue to those pointy ends and then begin to place my Roman numerals. For the V's, I'm going to do the top push pins and then glue those down. And then once those are glued, I'm going to add that bottom push pin so it connects without overlapping the sticks there. And then for the X's, I cut one of the uh, sticks in half and then glued it to each side of another stick. That way it's not overlapping. And then I'm going to add the push pins to each of the sides as well. So here's all of my Roman numerals once they are done. And then for the time markers that are going to be going in the center of my clock, I made 12 more with the push pins at the top and the bottom. And I'm going to set those aside and now we're going to work on the clock part. So this clock I've had for a long time. I wanted to kind of give it a little uh, upcycle here. <laughs> it's not really my style anymore so I was excited to get to change this up. But I just took some masking tape and covered the hands of the clock and then that same white chalk paint from Walmart. And I painted two thick coats of chalk paint for the background. So here's what that looks like once it's dry. And then I took some twine and just sectioned off each part to make sure my gears are evenly spaced. So I'm gluing down everything except for the 3, 6, 9, and 12 first. So those gears are going to be interlocking. And then the 3, 6, 9, and 12 are going to be glued down last and they're going to kind of overlap a little bit there. And now I'm sharing with you just how I'm going to be spacing apart these time markings. So once I kind of have them spaced into where they're going to be glued, I went ahead and glued all of those down. And then I removed the twine, just cut that off, removed my tape, and then I just colored in the middle gold portion there with my black marker just to blend it in. And here's how my DIY vintage wall clock <laughs> turned out. enjoyed today's video if you could please give it a thumbs up and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye